Tyler Perry urges people to stop looting amid Black Lives Matter protests. Following the death of George Floyd, people took to the streets to protest police brutality across um, America. And Perry said there are people and other countries who are posting things pretending to stand for peaceful protests, but they are trying to incite violence and chaos in America. He urged people not to fall for the foolishness and to stop the violence. Oh, my <laughs> uh, it, it didn't really sit well with me 100%. Um, right. I felt like I was tracking him because he's one of those people that in the history of, um, will I say when, they, when it's hot, mm -hmm. um, he always has something to say. And I think he's so influential, especially he's a different type of celebrity in terms of the black community where I feel like he's really attached to the grassroots. Yeah, he's lot, invested in the black community. Yes, and it lower type um, class. So I feel like he should be addressing people with a lot more sensitivity. Don't um, you know Tyler is an Oreo? I don't think so. He is. Personally, I don't think so. But um, I think he he is um, a bit, he's, his reality is a bit skewed. And I think that happens with money and privilege and all that. First of all, you can't ask people not to protest. Um, I think you have the right to protest. No, he's not saying they shouldn't protest. Yes. He said they should stop looting and the violence. I, 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 the violence. I was coming, but in his, okay. in, even in his caption, he did say, don't fall for it, stay at home. He's, he's not just talking about looting. He's talking about protesting as well. All, most of the videos I have seen, a lot of them that are, Looting are not even just blacks. There's a lot of people who are out there to mm -hmm. just do stupid things, and that comes with it. It's not helpful when you go tone deaf to the issues at hand. Like if I'm beginning, it, 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 it vibed me like Black Lives Matter. I say, oh no, but all lives matter. Let's relax. Like that's what it seemed like. You see that guy like. that was screaming on Lives Matter that got bitten and his car burned. Did you see? <laughs> <laughs> White guy. I, and then it, they were it, shooting it's the arrow. too tone deaf. There is a bigger issue at hand. What do you have to say in regards to that? Like, people's bodies are hot and they have a right for their bodies to be hot. Like, blood is pumping. You can't now say, guys, relax, they're violent. Like, mm, I don't know. I just felt I, I expected more. So, you would have been more comfortable if he had come out to say this and in the same vein at least yes. support the movement. Yes. If he was showing, if, yeah, if he showed that, if he showed that, I just followed, uh, followed a page called Something Good News. They really, that, like, they were positive. Um, fit to my timeline and everything they're always uploading the love and everything and they first started with the people the blacks that made a chain to protect one um uh, police officer white police officer that had been um detached from his follow and they obviously they were going to beat him and kill him that was nice but then he started to get a lot more like merry-go-round and like it was too lovey-dovey yes we want peace and we want love but you need to remember the issue at hand like it is not child's play we're not here to make you feel nice and like have a lovey-dovey conversation and be no we're trying to say stop it enough is enough and if you don't have that balance for me you are ignoring the issue and i didn't like that in my opinion um two wrongs don't make a right yes we're protesting and we're saying black lives matter and we want the police brutality to stop globally not just in america globally but at the end of the day if you're going about it the wrong way it's just like in the court of law. Well, you've gone about it the right if, way. Nothing has happened. If it's just like in the court of law, where um, if you get evidence via criminal means, or yeah, yeah. it wouldn't be valid in the court of law. So if we're saying we're fighting for justice and we're going about it the wrong way, but the wrong way, you, you said um, you, if we've been doing it the right way and nothing has happened, mm -hmm. so it's the right way looting and showing that this is no. But is not saying the right way is, is this? Is this? No, I'm just saying. I'm not saying you. I'm saying so. Is this what we represent? Because at the end of the day, white people now have jumped on that thing. But when they are going to put it out there, they would ignore the white people completely. Mm. And say when the black people were protesting, the stores got looted. One thousand. But you remember, Ifeo Mai said something, and um, I picked on that, which is that it comes with it. You it doesn't can't... come with it. Um, it to depend. a large extent, I remember when we had the little drama in Nigeria. Let me not call it little because a lot of people lost a lot of things then as well. The xenophobia thing when we had like the ripple effects mm. back here, and people were saying they are trying to protest, and then mm -hmm. looting happened, right? Yeah. Um, there are people or bad eggs that will always want yeah. to hijack any movements for their own yeah. good, whatever it is they want to achieve. I don't know, but that would always happen. And I, it, this matter is too sensitive because Black Lives Matter has been a trending hashtag for as long as I know. Like, it's always been there. There's always been one form of police brutality mm. or another. They've had to do a lot or series of movies for you to understand where this hurt is coming from and how much is affecting them. So if 
all that had been done and even the president of the country cannot take that as a priority to address the issue, then right now it's even difficult for yeah. even the sane-minded person to come out to and, blame and, these people and, and have, for being this aggressive. You now. also have to put into consideration that everyone who is super close to this incident hasn't said what you've said. They go out there for peaceful protest. The, the um, police retaliate differently. You have the bad eggs coming out. But are you going to tell people whose lives are being taken every day to stay at home and say what you've said? You're in Nigeria. You are not experiencing the same thing. Um, black, um, what's his name? Tyler Perry? Same thing. All people who are closer to the issue sound different. No, Even when they are home, addressing... I'm just, I'm just saying, let's... Uh, the reason why I brought that up was because you mentioned sensitivity, and I think it's important to remember that. Until it's biting you the same way, I think we need to be really careful. And you have another alternative to give them, to say, this is how you can help the situation, rather than sitting at home in your lavish house that's protected. Then, yeah, I can have another conversation.